What's going on guys, No Guides here, welcome back to another video. In today's video we're talking about the Mexico Player of the Season, Mena. A very, very good card. Um, regardless of if you want to do the card or not, I guarantee that if you do this SPC, you would not regret it. Um, for a super sub, but even better, he only cost around 30k. I mean, let's just forget the card for now for a second. If you look at the card just in terms of price-wise, it's around 33k. Um, when Thurs on Thursday, when packs come out, uh, rewards come out for foot champs and ri uh, and rivals, um, he would go down a bit more because obviously the market would be supplied with players, so his price would drop to about 29, 29, 29, 30k momentarily. But even then, just as I said, for 30k, he's a bargain. You don't get any packs back from it. But if you look at the cheapest 87 rated player, assume that the cheapest um, outfield player is around 30k. So to do the SBC. For the same price as for example someone like Rakitic it's worth it because even if you don't want to use the card you can always use them in the SPC you know team in the season is around the corner and you want high rated players or let's say for example you're going to do an SPC anyway in the future regardless a right wing player with A7 rated is probably the perfect person to use to even save so just based on just the price it's worth doing um, to, to actually do him, you don't need that much, surprisingly. Um, you need one in form, and I think it's an 83 rated team. So I have him on my second account. Um, but I think you need um, an 83 rated uh, 83 rated team and an in form. So very uh, relatively cheap. Um, most of you will have the 83 rated in your club. The only thing is maybe getting a team of the week player. Um, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue. A lot of you probably have untradeables if you take re rival rewards. Uh, five days left for him, um, but let's assume you want to use him. Uh, this guy is honestly crazy. For 30k, I think he's probably the best card I've ever seen e introduce or release for 30k SPC. Uh, if you look at his stats alone, look, he's 5 for 6, which means it's, it's, it's good. Um, at first, you're probably going to think 5 for 6 is not really the best, um, but the benefit of being 5 for 6 is he's quite agile. Um, he's going to be a lower center of gravity. Naturally, he's going to be much, feeling much better on the ball, but it doesn't need that much balance. He's a medium, medium, which does let him down a bit. Um, he is a right mid, right wing. There's not that many right mid, right wingers um, in this game. So if you have an icon, unfortunately, he is from, well, unfortunately, he's from Ecuador and he is in the Mexican leagues. So it's going to be quite hard to link. But if you have a league SPC uh, or you have um, any form of um, Ecuador, what? Well, See, the problem is, if you have an icon card, you can get this guy on 8 chemistry. Um, in, in in most formations, with one um, icon link, you can get 8 chem, which is more than enough for this card. He's left footed as well, so you can cut in on his left foot. Four star weak foot, which is tremendous. Um, and three star skill move, which is the only downside. Of course, you can't do La Croqueta. Um, but nevertheless, don't let that deter you. It's still worth the money, I can assure you that. Um, medium, medium. Um, but the stats wise, he's insane. 93 pace, shooting, attack positioning, finishing, shot power, long shots, everything is complete ace. He's basically got the stats of almost like Messi. Considering you're paying like 30k for him, it's a joke. And then it gets even better. His passing is phenomenal. Forget, ignore curve unless you do low driven, I mean, uh, driven passes, sorry, driven pass only. Short pass, vision, and long pass is the most important thing here. Mainly short pass, especially because he's going to be inside the box and crossing. He can't. He can still cross the ball with his left foot. The good thing is, because he's left-footed, you can always, on the right-hand side, cut inside his left foot and do an inwards kind of cross, uh, swinging in. Really dangerous. Um, now, getting on to the good stuff, dribbling. 99 agility, 99 balance. This guy is going to be amazing at dribbling. Amazing. He's going to feel amazing on the ball. And I've tried it myself. He's a phenomenal player. Good reactions, good ball control, good dribbling, and decent composure, 85. Most times EA release cards, they don't really put the best composure or the best stats on. He's got 81 heading accuracy. Jumping is not the best, but he's 5 for 6. I don't think I'm using him for headers. But he's got 99 stamina, so he's going to last the game if you do start him. But as a super sub, this guy is insane. I'll be honest, even if, as I said, you even if you don't want to play him, let's just say you have a fully stacked club, just do him anyway. He only costs 30k. Yes, you have to give up Team of the Week player if you have one. Um, but the benefit is, as I said, you can use him in SPC later on. Team of the Season SPCs will be out. You're going to need at least a high rate squad if you do an icon. 
Now, cam styles. Now, I'm going to be realistic. Most people are not going to have him on full cam because it's going to be hard to fit him in. So, let's assume you have one yellow linked to him. Um, so, let's say you have two red, one yellow, or one red, uh, one yellow. He's going to have eight chemistry. We may have loyalty and the manager bonus. Now, the best chem style for me is got to be engine, without a doubt. You're not going to max out his, his pace, but you're still going to increase it a bit. Um, you're going to increase his passing. So on the wing, you know, increase his crossing, increase his short pass, long pass, get it in a, in a almost very high 90s, low or no, low 90s, should I say. And then you're going to increase his dribbling, his ball control and his reactions. He's going to feel amazing on the ball. There's not, I mean, I would only say, I would say engine is probably the best. If you do want to use him as a striker because he has a four-star weak foot and you don't want to use skills, I would probably recommend something like a sniper. The reason why I recommend a sniper, I would prefer engine first, but I would say sniper for the sole reason that he's got 89 composure when he gets the sniper chemistry style. But then I said, nonetheless, it's still a very good card. I would highly recommend you guys doing it. There's actually, there's, as I said, there's actually no reason for you to not do him. For the price, he's amazing. I don't think you'll get a cheaper SPC for this price. I mean, if for example we just compare him, for example, like the likes of Messi, um, I'm not I'm not saying he is like Messi, but let's just say a direct comparison uh, to Lionel Messi. You can see, apart from obviously shooting and finishing, and passing and dribbling, of course, he actually surpasses Messi. But his agility and balance it makes a difference. He feels really good in the ball, 99 stamina, which is one thing that Messi lacks this year. But like I said, you're paying 30k for this guy. 30k in contrast for the price of Messi. I would highly, even as a super sub, I'd highly recommend this guy. He's he only got a couple of days left, I think five days left. But yeah, highly recommend him. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.